Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial and in this one we will be showing you how we can get this, you know, multiple choice options in our uh, radio or what is it called, in our alert dialog. And as you can see, clicking on any of the options shows you this toast and similarly you can do any other action. Okay, so let's get started and let's try to wrap it up within 5 minutes. Okay, what do we have now? Uh, I'll just move it here so that I can show you. We have this button show dialog and this is this button, right? And we have a set click, uh, we have set on click listener and it is doing nothing at the moment. So what, what do we want? We want it to do this when we click it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's say we want a method show options dialog. Okay, and this error will come because we have not created this method at the moment. So hit Alt and enter together and you will get this create method dialog. From here you can select where do you want to create this uh, method. Okay, I just created it here. Anonymous. Okay. Now what we can do here is in this show options dialog, we'll create an alert dialog builder. Okay, and let's call it builder itself. And this is new builder and we need to pass a context here we will pass single db activity dot this okay and we will set a title here let's call this choose gender okay and remember guys whenever you want to show a single uh, choice items or multiple choice items Right, like this, this is checkbox, not radio buttons, but we are doing this at the moment. Uh, you want to just set this single choice items, okay? You don't want, you don't want to set, set message because if you write, uh, if you do this set message also, this will override the set single choice items and your uh, radio buttons will not be displayed. So just use set single choice items, okay? And then you pass an array of items here. So let's create those items. Right, and we have male here, female. <laughs> it turned out to be Gmail, not female. And we have another. Okay. Now we just pass our genders here, but I messed up and now it's okay. Why am I getting error here? Okay, it's no error. The idea was just so, just slow. And by default, we want male to be selected, so its position is index zero, so we pass zero here. And then we define an on-click listener. Okay, so by default, male will be selected because we have passed the zero index here. If we pass, we want female to be selected by default, we want to pass this one here because the index of female in this array is one. Okay, now what do we want to do when any of the radio button is clicked? First of all, let's define, okay, it's already here. Selected gender is male by default. So what we'll do is, we'll change the gender to which one was selected, which whichever one was clicked. So what we do is, in our genders array, we, we select this, this position and this, is the position that was clicked so it, if male is clicked it will be zero if female is clicked it will be one if other is clicked it will be two so similarly that item will be selected from our array and then we just display the toast message and again the context is our activity right and then we pass you just clicked selected gender and then length for a short duration of time and then we show this toast all right we are almost there now we just need to show our builder okay yeah we also need to add positive and negative buttons right so we said set positive button and let's say the text is proceed and then what do we want we want an on listener here also and on clicking this we'll just dismiss the dialog for now right Okay, and 
we'll just duplicate it using control and control D right okay, I forgot the semicolon here here too and and this is negative instead of positive right set negative button and instead of proceed change it to exit and now we are finally showing our builder here okay so we what did we what did we do we created an array of items that you want to be displayed in our radio group and then we set the title to choose sender and then we set our single choice items and pass our options and this is what is selected by default and then an on click listener to do an action do any action whenever any of the items on the radio button is clicked and then we set a positive button we are just dismissing the dialog on click and then we set a negative button and here also we are just dismiss the, dismiss the dialog whenever it is clicked and finally we are showing the dialog so let's run it and there you go okay I timed it wrong very wrong all right there you go if you click on female it shows you just click female you click on other it shows you just click other and if you click on mail it shows you just click mail all right guys this is it all right this is it so yep if this helped you just click the subscribe button like it helps us a lot thank you guys see you in next one